get kind of like the old cantankerous old men that taught me. But um, there you go. Just doing something like that is good. And now what you're doing is you're going back to what he was doing before and he was doing it well. So go ahead and pull. Give him a little bit of pull, a little bit of tension on that, on that underneath that tail. There you go. Now he should accept that. And he is. He's not liking it. And I never, never expect them to, to like this. But I do expect them there to give him a little bit of, there you go. You're doing, you're getting just enough tension to let him know it's there, yet not hard. And you're doing great. You're doing good. good okay, boy. there. Look at that. Outstanding. Good boy. Good boy. Outstanding. Okay. Good. Good boy. All right. So we know what we had. We, we didn't get as far as I thought we would, Taryn. We're out of time. But we didn't get as far as I thought we did. And, and it's okay because we learned a lot about what we need to do. Right? Yeah. Well, now, I <laughs> Make the round, Run across. Yeah, get back down there so that you know that your your uh, your groundwork is going to be meaningful. Because what we can do is we can teach them by doing it this way that they can get away with stuff, and then we'll start going backwards. And they'll, this is the very first push, and that's why I asked you initially what you felt he was doing. Why do you think he's doing what he's doing? And he's pushing you, and that's why. So, yeah, yeah, we need to get this and really solidify this groundwork, and especially these ropes. Now, what we didn't get to for Celia and, and the rest of the group is why we were doing what we're doing with these legs. And we're going to do that next time. We're going to keep them in suspense for a week and uh, explain what we're doing, why we're doing it. And uh, But we'll have to build up to it to this point. So I think you, I think you, you know your lessons without having to even me, you know, ask you what they are. So yeah. we're going on this, this week. Yeah, and and uh, next week maybe we'll we should be able to to drive him, and uh, and then maybe start stepping up on his side again. Okay. Okay. So you know you did a good job. I'm I'm glad that uh, in, a way, in a way I'm glad, but in a way I'm not. I hate to see you get the rope jerked out of your hands and you burn your hands a little bit. Um, but you know you're putting your hand in the flame. So I got to let you do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, but you'll, well, this is this is really important. I think it's a, I think this is a, more of an aha moment for you on a couple of less uh, reasons. One one is you know just because we do what we do to these horses doesn't mean it always sticks when they get time off. And that's that's yeah. that's how uh, we make better horses than what a lot of people do is because you know they'll do it. They'll say ah, ah we're good. That horse has got it. No, they don't. They don't necessarily have it. You have to test them, and that's what this is. This is really kind of a kind of a test and uh, see where he's at. Well, I'd much rather it happen in here than out on the trail, so. Yeah, and you know, when you're when you're struggling by yourself and you're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm doing things wrong, you might be, you might be able to do them better, but as long as you're not, you know, doing something that is causing harm to the horse or irre irreparable uh, damage in the training, you're not doing it right or, or wrong. You're, you're just not necessarily doing it super good or as well, well as you could. So, you know, think about uh, what's best for the horse and not what they want, but what they have to have, what they need to do to make them better. So, um, you know, you don't need to, you don't need me there. It does help. I, I understand that. And I, I get frustrated too, because there's a lot of questions I'd like to ask my, my dad and my grandpas and, and I won't be able to until I cross over. And, and at that point, we'll all be sitting at the best camps uh, catching the best fish, and, and I give them instructions all when they died that they did, they need to cut wood for me. I'll be the new guy showing up. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, thank you so much, Brandon. I definitely have a lot of homework to do. So yeah, we got some homework, and, and this is good because this will ultimately make him better. It'll make you better. So um, yeah, we'll 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 see how it goes. We'll we'll check in next week at the same time, and uh, look forward to it. Great. Well, thank you, and we'll see you on Tuesday. All right. We'll see you, everybody.